Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, all of probably nobody watching this video. <laughs> Down there, look at Solo. Down here in the comments, or the, ch the chat, he's saying hey to everybody watching. But look, uh, I've decided I'm going to uh, build a little western style village here. Uh, we may get a map reset, I don't know, for uh, 1.6 when it comes out. We're on 1.5.2 right now. And uh, we've actually got about 11 people and a couple of guests online right now. Uh, I'm inside my saloon. They got a couple of uh, rooms up here for boarding. But uh, I can imagine that'd be pretty loud throughout the night. But uh, this, these two rooms are identical pretty much. They're just facing in opposite directions. Okay, and uh, lighting situation is still torches right now. I'm still working. So, got a couple of uh, little tables down here, chairs, and a bar. Some uh, brick glasses, some mud brick glasses sitting on them. Uh, still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this because this is this wall's only one thick. And uh, we picked a great time because it's night and I have no weapons or anything on me. So this should be interesting. Uh, let's go out the front doors here. Did it open? Okay. Uh, now, out the front doors. I don't think there will be anything out here. This is pretty well lit up. But there's my little uh, saloon. It's uh, kind of plain yet. Um, but here's my sort of my vision for it. This is my villager breeding area right here. I brought three villagers up from my. Oh crap! Uh oh! Come get them, guys! Protect me! Whoa! Get them! Woohoo! All right, I think I can stay out of their way while they do that. They're not focused on me anyway. They want those villagers. Anyway, my sort of vision for this is uh, to have the saloon right here, and right next to that there's going to be a hotel, and I think I've got plenty of room for a hotel here, <clears throat> and uh, maybe a five or seven wide, probably five wide gravel street right in front, and across the street over here. I'll have maybe a general store and a stable. The stable will probably be down on that end. Uh, but uh, here we go. Cro straight across. This is kind of a little bit of comedy on my part, maybe. But straight across here from the saloon, I want to have the sheriff's office. And I'm thinking uh, raw wood and brick for that with the uh, iron bars inside of course and uh, <clears throat> so yeah I'm, I'm just gonna build a little village here on this little bit of land I, I've got uh, that would be monkey estates over there uh, giggle monsters houses right over there you probably some of you have seen her in chat giggle monster is awesome and uh, well everybody on serenity is awesome but I interact with giggle monster more than anybody else Lately, though, uh, you'll notice uh, Solo. I talk to him a lot lately. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jewett. Jewett is a fairly new member. Uh, I don't know Derp the Herbs. <laughs> Kirby. Um, yeah, but you'll see uh, Otis on here. Uh, Otis is cool. Uh, but... Yeah, this is what I want to do. I've got one villager up there in all those doors, and believe me, there are a lot of doors up there. That's no lie. There are a lot of doors up there. Uh, all the way around, four layers deep. Uh, five if you want to count. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five layers deep. So, yeah, there's a lot of villagers in here. We'll check that out shortly. If I can get into my house, <laughs> I have to go through a dark area to get there. This should be fun. And hope I don't get blown up. Shot, I can deal with. Blown up, not so much. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, see, 
you can just sort of get a taste of the number of villagers that are in there are a lot of villagers in here eventually I'm gonna let these guys out uh, I have one stuck here do I have a lever here I can let him out come on dude come outside oh there's no there's just one the rest are glitching we'll let him out if he gets killed well they'll breed more okay so I'm gonna run inside the house here <coughs> We'll bring you down, bring you down through the hidden tunnel and show you the the number of villagers that are actually in there. I'm not sure. I think those guys are what's lagging my game. Uh, I did have, I found part of the reason for my lag earlier. I'm using, uh, oh, let me turn the sound down. It needs to be down to about 20% roughly. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm using Optifine and... This, uh, ma this performance was set to limit my FPS, and even if it doesn't, it uh, it affects your FPS. Uh, so I just set it to max, and that doesn't. It just lets it do whatever it wants. So yeah, let's go down here. Um, storage room. Got rid of my furnaces. Put in a bunch of semi-auto furnaces. Um, this goes down to my tree farm. I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, but let's see here. I'm still getting some, some local lag, and I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Minecraft is progressing, and I, my computer is not, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Ah, I had to change my key map to drop items, because it was, uh, I kept hitting Q, and I would drop my, my good weapons, and I would drop them in lava, or in front of a creeper that was about to blow up, or something. And I lost a number of good weapons that way. So let's go up in here now. I've changed this up a bit. It doesn't close anymore. So, I mean, it could. All I gotta do is wire it back up, but that's okay. We'll put this right here. Say hello to this villager. Go over here, and we'll stand and wait for the... Oh, there we go. Come on. And wait for my beacons to catch up. And I've got a jump boost. Oh, here we go. There it is. Now I'm going to turn around. I'm going to show you. That zombie over there wants in my house. Look at that. He wants in bad, but he can't open the door because it's not... It's a cheaty door. I placed it sideways. Uh, you may have seen me do that, actually, or should have seen how I did it. So I'm going to turn around here and I'm going to show you these villagers. There are quite a number of them in here. And they like to hang out over there because... Oops, Upstairs, directly above where these guys are at, is where the one villager that's up there hangs out. And uh, I guess they like to be where he's at. But during the day, they all spread out and they just do their thing out here. But, uh, excuse me, I have to itch my ear and it's under my headset. I didn't start my timer. I got a timer specifically to time my videos and I didn't start it. Oh well. So I'm going to let these guys out eventually to populate my village. And I'll just leave this where they can just make more as needed. And we'll see how that goes. Let's see, get over here and look. I've got sort of a an airlock. He's got a lever sticking out of his head. Sort of got a sort of an airlock here where these guys can go in and out. <clears throat> but that's just non-functional right now. It works, but I'm not going to use it because I don't want them getting out right now. And sometimes they push each other into the walls and they suffocate to death. But I guess that's the beauty of having a villager spawner there. They um, they just breed more. <laughs> so, here, let me get a drink of coffee. I'll try not to slurp it this time. All right, let's get out of here. But that's sort of my... That's loud. That's sort of my vision for the uh, the village, eventually. And <clears throat> what else do we have? I have set up a tree farm, which I could either ride down there on a mine cart, which I will do, or I could go there from the outside. We'll come back that way, probably, just so you can see it. 
mine cart. You guys have seen this. It takes 29 seconds to make this round trip here. And... Whoa, get out! Ow. Well, that was... Why did it put me back in the mine cart? Okay, when I get up here, I'm going to have to cough. So I'm going to mute my mic for just a second here. I, uh... Hmm, spent the evening at my brother's house last night watching bad movies, so excuse me just a second. Much better, much better. Okay, so this is my tree farm, and I've got it marked out on the floor here with the kind of trees I normally grow here, but at the moment I need a lot of spruce, so I've got all spruce planted here. And uh, I should probably... I bet I don't have anything. I don't. Well, just for the sake of showing you how this works, let's get half a, let's get 30 of these. And this is purely just for the heck of it. Unless I get a lot more than I can carry in my inventory, that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, but if I if I'm down here and I'm doing a lot of harvesting, I can take my my wood blocks and pretend these spruce saplings are wood blocks I can put them in here they start clocking see it flash there oh excuse me here we go again I have to cough oh sorry at least I have a mute button let's hope it works anyway that clocks it's a uh, auto clock it there we go oh it's already empty so it shoots straight down into a hopper down below. Um, I want to say it's in my carrot and potato farm. No, it's in my wheat farm here. Way in the back, back there. It uh, fires down into a hopper that loads into another uh, dispenser, or dropper, excuse me. And that dropper put, throws everything out in this water stream. It goes down down and down drops things right down through the center you see there's a gap right there and uh, it drops those down through that gap and onto this chest right here and that chest has got LWC's uh, C magnet feature in, in it uh, I mean this I did that long before we had hoppers in the game so that was very convenient. This is how I got my villagers down, by the way. I just cut a thing up here into the, the little nether village. And uh, I would get a villager over here, pop him in a minecart, shoot him down, and he would go this way. So, you guys have seen what this does, though. The minecart comes down here, and it'll grab these saplings out of here. And just when it's... see that? If there's anything in the hopper, uh oh, hmm, I hate that. If there's anything in the hopper, this turns off, and when I uh, remove it, it turns on, and this gives a nice shove, and the minecart takes off. All right, why is this door open again? Okay, let's go up. <clears throat> We're gonna take the other exit out of here. Now, it's up at the tree farm. And, uh, excuse me. Anyway, we have to go up to the tree farm here. I could just do slash home, and that would get me home. But that's kind of not necessary, because home is, well, pretty much straight up from where I'm at. Not quite, but very close. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go up here. This is my little, my little secret. Whoa, dang, that's a lot of lag. Zombie? Is there a creeper over there? Oh, I heard somebody walking. Why can't I get in my door? There we go. Anyhow, minecart comes back <clears throat> to here. And actually that right there is my, the one I just rode in. But you get the idea, it goes there comes back. 
I'm going to take you on a tour here in a minute of a nice new addition since the last time I recorded a video. Uh, after we see this, you've seen this. This is my sort of uh, charcoal creation station there. It takes wood and turns it into charcoal. This is my new smelting area up here. It's unfinished as yet. Uh, not real sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'll figure it out. So the, these hoppers, you just come in and you drop whatever you get on your caving expeditions into the hoppers. They go down in here into the furnace and there are hoppers underneath and they take it out and put it in here. <clears throat> so you s it all ends up here. And that was this is all just from one short caving expedition. I didn't go oh probably two hours. Uh, our frontier world is pretty rich. And there you go. And ignore this. This just turns that light on and off because I wanted to make a daylight sensor and that's the only use I could find for it. <laughs> uh, you guys have seen this. <laughs> uh, that's just, hmm. Wait, this makes charcoal. That is a bulk sm smelting area over there. I've been using it for, uh, well, there's iron and gold in here too. I've been using it to make smooth stone because I think I might need smooth stone in my village and uh, nether bricks. And you just drop in whatever you want smelted up there. This keeps the... Me no speak well today. Um, <laughs> keeps the furnace full. And uh, it all empties into the chest. And that right there is totally not compact, obviously. I just threw it together. And I need, I actually need to go out here and see if I need to slaughter some chickens. Um, <clears throat> no, I don't. So I get so many chickens, it's ridiculous. They, they just, uh, it just auto makes chickens. <laughs> I have several chickens sealed up in the wall there. They lay eggs and they get fired out of a dispenser and they just make chickens. Um, yep. <clears throat> and let's see here. Now this, this is a, my disposal down here. This is completely unnecessary uh, because I can put up a sign on the wall and just have it say disposal in brackets and it acts like a chest and anything you put in it is just sent to the void after you close it, so... Hmm, coffee's getting cold. <laughs> anyway, this goes into a dropper that drops directly into uh, lava. Uh, you've seen this. This is my cactus farm uh, that I have no use for. Um, maybe I can donate it. Some people would want it, I don't know. But, <clears throat> you've seen my house. This is all familiar territory for anybody that's seen my videos. Uh, obviously, I've changed a few things. I actually gave away one of my beacons, my haste beacon. Uh, somebody needed it, and I gave it away. Uh, it'll give me a reason to go and hunt more wither skeletons. Which, I might actually do on camera one of these days. But it's kind of boring, though, because it's it takes some time to find them. And then takes forever to actually get the skulls you need but I tell you what I will the next time I fight a wither boss I will record it because the fights generally take under 30 seconds uh, one that takes 30 seconds is an awfully long fight so but I'm gonna show you our new spawn here uh, the new serenity spawn it's called the core uh, but it's based on a space station design and uh, we had a core before because we run multi-worlds here and multi-inventory. Uh, you need a way to get back and forth between the worlds. Yes, you could type slash warp frontier or uh, nether frontier uh, or just wherever. We have, we have a number of worlds here. Uh, creative, New Eden, 
but this is a, a way for guests to get around especially because they can't use those commands okay oh coffee's about done so let's go to spawn that's the core uh let me cough while the world loads all right now this is where you're going to show up now oh it said <laughs> one of our uh, admins said it's awesome but this is the core this is where you'll come in when you first uh, log into the server welcome to serenity mc you cannot build until you apply type slash apply and that will give you directions on how to apply to be a member see down here at the bottom left how to become a builder go to http colon slash slash apply dot serenity mc dot net so follow the gold blocks to get to the main world yes we have a creative world type slash warp creative so uh let's see what do these signs say I haven't been here since they did this follow the gold blocks and let's go around said follow the gold blocks yeah all right so this is all new Hmm, that's nice a three by three piston door it doesn't close behind you hmm oh, I guess it does it's on a timer so these are gold pressure plates it looks like they're extended above the floor so here uh, follow the gold blocks to get to the main world game worlds are this way uh, creative worlds this way um, oh you know what let me stand right here and we'll take a look at this as from a bird's eye view oh you really can't see that very well but see the station is much larger than <laughs> it will even fit on my map let's zoom let's see zoom 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 one more and we're zoomed all the way out I was already at max minimum zoom okay so anyway let's go go this way to the main world and I really need to go, go and do a uh, world's tour of this uh, of our server because it really is awesome uh, we're not we're always looking for new members uh, it's not an open public server you do have to apply to be a member but it's not hard to become a member uh, you just type slash apply you go to our, our forums and you apply uh, and if you mainly they want to see if you can do your your uh, application correctly look like a halfway intelligent person uh, this, this goes to the main world what was that frontier that world gets reset every so often because that's where we go to collect resources and stuff so that we don't destroy our uh, main world that's mostly just for building okay this goes to the nether uh, and I'll go here you can see our main world spawn is still pretty much exactly the way it was yep come on let's load All right. yeah you know what I think I'll go down here and I will check on my donation chest so that I can see <laughs> everything's probably gone there's probably nothing but like zombie meat and bones in there um, I don't even know if people remember that it's down here but we'll find out that was new back there oh fairly new I haven't been this way in a while I haven't actually been able to get on a lot lately I wonder if there's anything in the bookshop closed darn I could really use a silk touch or an unbreaking three book and the farm is down here and the farm can I'm not sure if all this stuff in there causes lag or not I can't tell because my computer is lagging but this is my little donation hut so there's two flowers in there ice and a button uh, 
uh, bows, and a lot of zombie meat. I don't know why people feel the need to donate zombie meat. <laughs> so, I would say we could run to my house, which is back that way, but that's 1,149 meters and quite a ways off. So, let's go home. Uh, what I really need, and I've been looking on YouTube, I've looked all over Google, I've looked everywhere, and I need good designs for uh, western style, say frontier, well, wild west, old west buildings. Uh, I think I've got a pretty good start on the uh, saloon there, but that's only because I copied uh, Vintage Beef, <laughs> the, the, his front design, the facade design. And if you don't know who Vintage Beef is, just search Vintage Beef on YouTube. He's a uh, one of the guys from the Minecraft server. And he's pretty cool. He, he he came up with that design for the front of that building, so I modified it a little bit. But um, I'm probably going to go into creative and uh, see what I can do there. Um, oh, in case anybody's ever wondered why this chest looks like this, there's a minecart in there, a chest minecart that's shoved inside. It's got all my enchanted books and stuff in it. But uh, yeah, so. This, vid this video went a little longer than I planned today. I didn't really want to make a long video. But, what the heck. Nobody watches these things anyway. So, I'll just have to say goodbye for now. And, uh, we'll see you later. Uh, when I actually come up with something good to make a video from. <laughs> later, guys. Bye.